Skywatch Media News for August the 14th, 2021. According to recent data collected by the NASA spacecraft OSIRIS-REx, one of the most hazardous asteroids in our solar system, named Bennu, has a higher chance of striking the Earth than was previously thought. Prior to collecting the recent spacecraft data, researchers predicted that the probability of Bennu striking the Earth in the next century was 1 in 2700. But after analyzing data provided by the spacecraft's recent visit to the asteroid, the odds have been slashed to 1 in 1750. Although scientists at NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies have shortened the odds of an impact, they don't consider the change to be great enough to increase the impact probability, the projection being made after careful analysis of Bennu's updated trajectory. Estimates obtained from the Planetary Defense Office, which discovers and monitors comets and asteroids that venture close to Earth and which pose a risk, have indicated that a potential impact of the asteroid Bennu upon the Earth would leave a crater of between 10 and 20 times its size and could cause an area of devastation that would be 100 times the size of the crater. The OSIRIS-REx mission arrived at Bennu in December of 2018 and it departed in May of this year. The spacecraft gathered information, including a sample from the asteroid surface, which is expected to arrive in September of the year 2023. Information obtained by the spacecraft has revealed that Bennu is a rubble pile asteroid, shaped like a spinning top. It is composed of rocks bound together by gravity. The rock is one-third of a mile wide. Data collected from the asteroid is used to calculate trajectories, predict future motion, and determine the possibility of an impact. Because the orbits of asteroids around the Sun can change over time, researchers are anxious to determine if Bennu will experience what is called a gravitational keyhole during its first anticipated approach to Earth in the year 2135. A gravitational keyhole is a small region of space in which a planet's gravity can alter the orbit of an approaching asteroid. If Bennu passes through on one of these keyholes at a specific time as a result of Earth's gravity, it could tweak the motion of Bennu and set the asteroid on a future collision course with Earth. There is something quite specific about the motion of asteroids and their interaction with the sun's heat. When asteroids pass the sun, they continuously heat and cool in their rotation. As the asteroid spins through this temperature differential, it releases energy, which provides a bit of a thrust to the asteroid. It's referred to as the Yarkovsky effect, and it will act on all asteroids of all sizes. But this is not the only force that can alter the orbital movement of an asteroid. We must also consider the gravity produced by the Sun, as well as planets, moons, and other asteroids. Cosmic dust, as well as the solar wind, can also play a role in the orbit of asteroids such as Bennu. Although this generation of Earthlings may never encounter an impact from asteroid Bennu, here are some things we need to know about this asteroid. It is a dark carbonaceous rock that reflects only about 4% of the light that hits its surface. Below its surface exist chemicals and rocks dating back to the birth of the solar system, estimated to be 4.5 billion years old. Because of the Yarkovsky effect that I described, a slight push from absorbed sunlight along with a gravitational tug from other celestial bodies has allowed the asteroid to drift closer and closer to Earth from its likely birthplace, the asteroid belt. Bennu is a rubble pile asteroid, but don't let the name fool you. 
It is a celestial body made from pieces of rocky debris that gravity has compressed together, probably caused by an impact of a much larger body. Bennu is as tall as the Empire State Building. Because it is full of holes inside, with 20 to 40 percent of its volume being empty space, it is in danger of flying apart if it rotates much faster or interacts too closely with a planetary body. The asteroid is likely to be rich in both platinum and gold, even more so than compared to Earth, but its most important resource is likely to be water. Images relayed back to Earth from the spacecraft Osiris Rex show that the asteroid's surface is covered in massive boulders, rather than small rocks, as was previously thought from earlier Earth-based observations. Its name, Banu, has special meaning, as it is associated with an ancient Egyptian deity that is linked to the sun and to the concept of creation and rebirth. It is the living symbol of Osiris. The myth suits the description of the asteroid, given that it is symbolic of a primitive object that dates back billions of years to the creation of the solar system. Bennu continues to surprise all of us. It is a rare active asteroid that is spewing out streams of particles on a weekly basis and it has pieces of another asteroid scattered across its surface. Along with the asteroid Ceres, it is among the first of its kind that our world has observed from a spacecraft. With each new observation, the evolutionary history of the solar system becomes clearer and becomes more focused. The Perseids meteor extravaganza is happening at this moment as the Earth travels through the dusty orbit of Comet Swift-Tuttle. Our planet crosses the cosmic debris field beginning in mid-July and will continue until the latter part of August. During this period it will shower our night skies with up to 100 meteors every hour. The meteors will enter the sky from the constellation Perseus, high in the northeast sky. The shower has a long period of activity, but since we are still in the summer months, the days are longer and the nights shorter, which narrows the time for meteor hunting. If you are a stargazer, and if weather permits, then plan on getting away from city lights between 11 p.m. and the pre-dawn hours for best opportunities to observe the event. The number of fireball events around the world has been happening at a fast clip over the years, as meteor organizations keep very busy tracking each and every report they receive. As of January 2005, there has been nearly 175,000 fireball reports on record, and counting through mid-August of 2021. One of those fireballs was observed over the Brazilian sky on August the 8th, captured from various locations across the southeastern state that is highlighted in red. Back on July 14th, prior to the start of the Perseids meteor shower, an unusual phenomenon raced across the Hawaiian sky to the delight of online stargazers that were tuned in to the Subaru Telescope's live stream feed, which is made accessible to the public. A meteoroid cluster is thought to be caused by meteoric material breaking up into smaller pieces shortly before entering Earth's atmosphere. The camera mounted atop a Mauna Kea captured more than a dozen meteors streaming from the same direction, right to left, within a 10 second window.
Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. And always keep looking to the sky.